In the background, you can see the judges working. There are two panels of judges, uh, five on each panel, and you'll notice them tasting and discussing and uh, maybe occasionally spitting. And you'll see that uh, as the day goes on. We'll, we'll be doing more and more of this, of course, and this is, a, this is a day's hard work for those two panels. It may seem like fun, but it's, it's actually hard work, and uh, they're concentrating and focused on getting good results. Close to the southwest. So only for our hospital families. Oh, yeah. That's right. Here, here. And I'm particularly into food and wine, so this is great for me to see what the Southwest can do. Now the Southwest means five states, Texas, Colorado, Oklahoma, New Mexico, and Arizona. And uh, right now, Shirley and I are very upbeat because our panel just tasted two of the best flights. We tasted Riesling and Gewürztraminer. I know that's hard for some people to say, but it is such a delightful wine. So what we're saying is be creative, be forward, add some zest to your life. Try Southwest wines. Amen. <laughs> we're uh, tasting some wines from the Southwest, getting a cross-section of what they have to offer from the growing regions, and you know, we've gotten a chance to travel a lot of places and taste wines from different regions, and really interesting on uh, how they're growing wines here and making them well. So we're trying to evaluate the quality of these wines that were made in the Southwest. Uh, we provide feedback to the winemakers because often they make their products in a vacuum. So we try to figure out uh, what's good, what's bad, what could use improvement, and our comments are used by the winemakers to uh, decide where they want to go from here. My makers sort out what grapes work and what techniques work here. We're seeing an improvement in quality across the board. And it's delighted to have Arizona wines, Colorado wines, New Mexico wines, and in addition to the Texas wines that have been uh, around for a little bit longer. So, um, bravo. One of the things, one of the things I enjoy doing about this is I get to taste a wide variety of wines made with a wide variety of grapes that you don't normally find a lot of different places. That's one of, to my mind, the great joys of regional wine. Out, out here, this is the what we call the back room of the operation, and the wines are prepared, uh, put into glasses, and uh, taken from a sheet which links all of the wines back to the final judge score. You'll notice that the volunteers in the background are pouring wine into uh, the glasses and ready to take into the other room for the judges to judge. There's a grower, there's a grower in uh, Washington State who's decided to. Uh, we don't want to keep you working. We don't want you to sit around. This year the Toast of Taos has two panels of judges fully representing the southwestern states and we have wine entries from, from all of those southwestern states so this way we can give a fair uh, assessment of the wines and uh, some good judging will result in some medals for many of the wines.